Hey YouTube, it's been a while. Sorry, I've been busy. I packed up everything, fled the United States, and I live on the other side of the planet now on a nice little island known as New Zealand. So, greetings from way down south. Anyway, uh, it's been a while since I made a video. I saw some updates had come out for various things. So I've been uh, amassing different bits of hardware and software and it's time to start playing again. So uh, what I want to do today was play with the ARM2 SID that's in here. Uh, I saw that there was a firmware update that had come out that uh, it said something along the lines of uh, something to do with the noise channel on the SID, right? And I always thought that the noise channel was a little off on that thing. So I want to do a little comparison and see if see what it sounds like now. See if it's more like the uh, the, the good old 6581 or what. Um, so we'll do a little bit of comparison. I don't have a real 6581 handy right now, but I have the Ultimate 2 cart that has SID emulation or FPGA, whatever you want to call it in there. And I always thought it was a closer approximation as far as the noise channels go uh, to the original SID than the, than the arm to SIDs implementation of those channels, right? So uh, we'll do a, uh, this is not going to be scientific. I don't even have a real camera or input gear or anything. I'm doing this on an old cell phone. So hopefully it comes out all right. And uh, if this is worth anything, we'll pack it up, put it on YouTube. So without any further ado, here, we'll, uh, we'll fire this bad boy up. We'll put the camera closer. So hopefully it'll capture a decent bit of sound. And uh, we'll see how we do here. So what I want to do, what, what I really noticed the noise channel sounding weird in uh, was the game Hardball that I played a million hours of as a kid. And uh, I think we'll use that as a comparison because it uses the noise channel every time the crowd cheers, right? So we'll load that game up. No, won't make you sit through load time. We'll be back momentarily. All right, so there is a quick little sound sample of the arm to sit that's installed in this machine. And here, we'll, uh, we'll catch him when he strikes out the next guy here. But uh, I always thought the noise channel sounded a little muffled, not quite crisp. So here's... So if you heard on the on the second go around, I, I think it was the the sound was a little brighter for lack of a better term, a little more crisp, a little less muffly sounded. So maybe I'll be able to snap this stuff together later and and do like a, a real good comparison. But at any rate, we uh, will bail out of here and let's flash this bad boy with the new firmware. I believe this is the update program. All right, so it found ARM sit at the two different addresses as it should. Ready to update, yes. All right, we'll come back after it's done. All right, firmware update went perfectly. Only took a minute or two. I think it's really sweet that you can update it inside the machine too without having to pull stuff apart. But anyway, here we go, we'll load the game. And if you listen the cymbals, right, when the cymbals hit, it already sounds a lot better. I think they, they nailed it with this update. So let's, uh, we'll listen for a minute and the game will start in demo mode and we'll uh, listen for the crowd to cheer. All 
Wow, that sounds tons better. We'll compare it to the ultimate. And it is very close. I think it I think it might still be just a, a, a hair bit muffled sounding, not as clean sounding, but man, for for a re-implementation, you know, on an arm like that, I think that's pretty awesome. So uh, yeah, I'll uh, I'll play with this for a little while and you know wrap up with my thoughts, I guess, or something. All right, after playing with this thing for a little while, I'm really really impressed with all the changes they put into the firmware for this 314 build. I think it sounds awesome, almost perfect. I mean, nothing's gonna be a real Sid, but man, it is really really close. Uh, it sounded a little off at first because I was playing with filters last time, but. I went through and, and tried a bunch of different iterations and, and ignore the 8580 stuff. I'm running in 6581 mode, but these are the filters I settled on that sounded as, as close to, you know, my original 1983 or 1984, you know, SID that was in my machine. I think my machine's got an 83 SID in it. It was an early one, but at any rate, um, it, it sounds great. And whatever they did to, to kind of clean up the noise channel and, and uh, kind of affected some of the uh, base frequencies as well. Um, if they went, you know, one more notch in that same direction, I think that would that would be almost as as perfect as you're going to get. Uh, I'm not complaining at all. I really love the the arm SID. The arm two SID is, is really slick too. Um, but uh, yeah, if if they could just you know twist that knob one more click that direction, whatever knob it was they twisted, I think it would be it would be phenomenal. Or uh, I, I doubt their code is open source. It's a commercial product and all that, and, and they got to make their money. But if they could add a knob for the change they just made into this screen, right, you know, to where you, you could tweak that channel on your own, that would be even better but if they could just go a little more i think that would be sweet so i had emailed them originally on too when i first got this chip and i, I noticed that the you know that muffly kind of kind of characteristic to that channel and they were really cool they said hey send us some recordings let us know what you think and i got caught up with life and getting ready to pack up and move and everything else so i never got around to following up with those guys so uh, i'm finally getting around to taking some recordings I'll put it out on YouTube. I'll email the guys back over there, you know, the, the Armstead folks that built this thing and, and just give them my honest feedback on it. But uh, I, I think they've done a phenomenal job and uh, it can only get better if they uh, if they want to go ahead and do more updates to it. So anyway, thanks, everybody. Take care. And uh, we'll talk to you again next time. Oh, yeah, I've got a uh, I've got stuff before I go. We'll uh, we'll do a little teaser. So. I've got this, which, uh, see if you can tell what it says on that chip, but there we, we'll make you use your secret decoder ring to figure out what I'm going to do with that one. And, uh, this box came all the way from Canada. Uh, there was no international shipping available, so I went to my buddy in Colorado. He turned around and mailed it to me down here in New Zealand. So uh, this has some pretty cool Vicky stuff in it that we're going to play with, too. So, so stay tuned. There will be more videos here in the next month or two as I get all my stuff unpacked and get a little bit of time to start playing with all this again. So thanks, everybody. Take care, and we'll see you next time.